We're back with another check of that breaking news from the White House. Tonight, President Biden announced one of the most wanted terrorists in the world is dead. ABC's Morgan Norwood tells us more about the deadly drone strike that killed him. On Saturday, at my direction, the United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan that killed the Emir of Al-Qaeda. Ayman al-Zawahiri had been hiding for more than 20 years, even after the U.S. pulled out of Afghanistan. A senior administration official says the U.S. killed him in a drone strike in Kabul over the weekend. The strike happened in a wealthy area within walking distance from the U.S. Embassy. The officials saying they'd been monitoring his safe house for months. This mission was carefully planned, rigorously minimized the risk of harm to other civilians. And one week ago, after being advised that the conditions were optimal, I gave the final approval to go get him. And the mission was a success. Zawahiri was Osama bin Laden's number two and a key strategist behind al-Qaeda's most vicious attacks against America. The assault on American soldiers in Somalia in 1993, the bombing of the U.S. embassies in Kenya, and the suicide bombing on the USS Cole in Yemen. And on September 11, 2001, the plot that destroyed the World Trade Center left devastation at the Pentagon and claimed nearly 3,000 lives. Now... Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. There were no civilian casualties in the mission, calling it a successful counterterrorism operation. Zawahiri, known for not just the horrific terrorism plots, but also these videos, recruiting and calling on others to join. President Biden with a strong message and a warning to the others. No matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you, and take you out. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. Senator Tim Kaine is reacting tonight on Twitter. He wrote he's grateful for the work of the Biden administration, our military, and the intelligence community.